Mr. Didat, you have talked a bit about blacks and the problem of racism. Would you please present the Islamic solution of this problem, the problem of racism? You see, the Allah Barita letters in the Holy Quran, Ya Yuhannas, O mankind. The whole of mankind is addressed, not only Muslims. Ya Yuhannas, Inna khalaknakum min zakarim wa unsa. So most certainly, Allah has created you all from a male and a female. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا And it is He who has made you into nations and tribes. لِتَعَارَفُوا That you may recognize one another. Not that you may discriminate and exploit one another. لِتَعَارَفُوا إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهِ أَتْكَاكُمْ So the most certainly, the noblest in the sight of God is He who is the best in conduct. This is the standard laid out by Allah Bari Ta'ala of judging. Not race, language, color or riches but your behavior. And not only as a theory, see, Islam has certain practical ways of bringing this about. Everybody speaks about the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man. The Christian will tell you that, the Jew will tell you that, the Muslim tells you that, that there is but one Lord and we are all his creation, we his creatures, yes. Fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man. But how do you implement that brotherhood? No system. Islam has a system. Five times a day it brings people together. Rubbing shoulders. The black and the white. The rich and the poor. The African and the Indian. The Arab and the Malay. Everybody rubbing shoulders. Using the same taps. Using the same towels. Standing shoulder to shoulder. No gaps left between one individual and another. In our form of prayer. Salat. So that the devil might not get in between you and your brother. That devil is not the one we see in the art galleries, you know, with horns, sharp ears, tail with a barbed hook, ruddy complexion. No. It's not that devil. When our Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he said that we must not leave gaps between one devotee and another so that the devil might get in between you and your brother. The devil he was talking about was your race. I'm white, he's black. I'm rich, he's poor. That devil must not be allowed to take, to get in between you and him. Because if you did, you see, if I stand at a distance, he says, oh, this guy is a Negro, I'm an Indian, see, I'm an Arab, he's an Ajam. No, there's no opportunity, so stand shoulder to shoulder, no gaps left. In other words, a practical system. Then, if one can afford once in a lifetime, go on a pilgrimage. On a bigger scale in your social around, uh, environment, Fridays. The masjid, the cathedral mosque, the Juma masjid. And the higher this thing, Eidgah, on Eid occasions, get out. And get people from all over the place into one common place. And on a universal level, go on a pilgrimage. There you go and you get surprise of your life. He says, what? A man from Tamil Nadu? He's a Muslim? Because in my country, all the Tamils are Hindus. Hey, he's Tamil and he's a Muslim. This man here, pitch black, like coal from Ethiopia. Muslim, my brother. And this guy here with blonde hair and blue eyes. Like a, a German or a Norwegian? Muslim from Turkey? No. It eliminates racism. It's a system. Not only talking, but a system that keeps on bringing you about five times a day when you make salat and at you end the salat, it says, Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So peace and blessings of Allah to everybody to the right of me. And I see here, here is a man from Ethiopia. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I see here is a man from Africa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Next time I see a man from China. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I see a man from Timbuktu. So, what it does is a system of eliminating racism. Talking is not alone. It is a system laid out by the Almighty, the All-Wise, how to. And Alhamdulillah, we Muslims, we are the least racist of any group of people on earth. We still have it, the lingerings from the past, like in my own case. You see, my ancestors were Hindus. In India, we had a caste system. We divided mankind into four different groups. In South Africa, they divide you into four different groups, racial groups. In my country, into castes, four different castes. I am a Muslim, but the environment is telling me again and again that this guy is a Brahman, he's tough, and this is an untouchable, he's low down. 5,000 years of Hindu blood has been flowing in my veins. So, if there is still some, something lingering on, you can understand, people can understand. But, as a people, as a whole, we are the least racist of any other community on earth. What does it? It is Islam. So Islam 
not only talks about it, but it shows you how to solve it.